Hello and welcome to this Mind Fusion tutorial. Here we will use the JS chart library to create the funnel chart that you see. It features custom colors, labels, and tooltips. Let's start by creating a new folder, Scripts, where we will place all JavaScript files used by the charting library. Charting, Gauges, Common, and Require. We also have a config.js file. In it, we have pointed the path to the other JS files from the Scripts directory. This is done because the JavaScript files are not in the same directory as the HTML file. If they were, we wouldn't need config.js. Next, in the directory one step above, we create an HTML file and a JavaScript file that will be used by the sample. We name them funnelchart.html and funnelchart.js. Let's paste the standard HTML required for a web page to funnelchart.html. We need two JavaScript references, one to config.js, the other to the require.js file. This one has a data main attribute that is set to the name of the JavaScript file that is used for this sample, funnelchart.js. We will now initialize a canvas that will be used by the funnel chart to render itself. It is important to give the canvas an ID. That's how we'll access it in code. For the JavaScript file, we navigate to the Creating Your First Chart section in the online documentation for the library that is accessible through the MindFusion website. There, we copy the code that explains how to create the chart object in JavaScript. This is a single method that includes all options and settings that will be done for the chart. Now we can create the funnel chart control using the canvas that we've defined in the HTML file. For a chart to make sense, it must have at least one series added to it. We will create a simple series, one that uses an array with data and array with labels. The data are numbers, the labels, strings. Each array is with six elements. The series will be type simple series. It accepts two arguments one for the data, and one for the labels. We assign it to the series property for the funnel chart. We call the draw method and are ready to see the initial result of our work. Let's start customizing the chart. First, the legend must hide and we need a title. We use the title and show legend properties. Next, we must customize the colors for the chart. The funnel chart needs a separate brush for each of its elements and we will use the per element series style class to set them. This class accepts as arguments a collection with the brush list for each series. In our case, there will be just a single list with brushes. Let's just paste the list. Optionally, we can add lists with the strokes and stroke thicknesses. Let's create them. Each one of them has a single member because the stroke and its thickness are the same for all funnel chart elements. Now we assign to the series style property of the plot and instance of the per element series style that uses the brushes, strokes, and stroke thicknesses arrays we've created. Let's see the result. Now the chart looks better, but we need to adjust the font size of the labels and the font. 
Let's change the highlight color from red to orange. It will look better. We also need some more space at the top. We will use the Roboto font, which we reference in the HTML file. We customize the title, larger font size, new font name, and new font style, bold. We use the Data Labels font size and Data Labels font name properties to customize the labels. Next, we change the highlight stroke. The margin property lets us adjust the space around the chart so it doesn't stick to the top. The chart looks fine, but it is intuitive that it shows tooltips. Let's add them. We define tooltips field for the series and assign it to an array with the tooltips. Since our series of type simple series, we must tell it that it will render not only the series labels, but also tooltip labels. This means we must override the supported labels property and return a value that combines label kinds dot inner label and label kinds dot tooltip. Finally, we override the get label method and return the correct label according the requested label kind. With this, our chart is ready. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion Developer Tools.